hi once again we're talking more cricket on toxin sports and it is the third week of the ongoing uh, Sujaman boys and a 19 t20 community league mangwasi they've seen a win as well as Tottenham, uh, defending champions they are doing wonders so uh, it's really getting exciting in the league uh, saturday august 5 saw these two matches happen at their command shs park Totsibo twinkle stars they started the day with six wicked victory over Sinchi fire batters and fire batters wanted to test their strength against the defending champions and so elected to bat first after winning top so fire batters fire was not blazing as twinkle stars shone brighter in the first inning with the former scoring 70 runs all out in 15 Point five overs. Isaac Gadri, who came on as the fifth batter, stayed on for one hour and three minutes and could have fanned the fire to blaze. Uh, but Rudolf Akuno's delivery gave him out for a catch as he scored 16 runs of 22 balls, being the last wicket to wrap up the first innings. Rudolf Akuno uh, took four wickets, gave away 10 runs in 3.5 overs, and was adjudged the player of the match wisdom konote also took three wickets gave away 10 runs in three over so it took the twinkle stars 46 minutes and 8.5 overs to score 74 runs for four wickets to win the game rudolph spent six minutes and scored a bond before that wrapped up the game and facing just two balls opening batter isaac tete scored 17 runs of 18 balls after johnson lydia ball got him caught on the 7.4 over so coach of fire batters james awi says they are still picking up admitting it was difficult against the defending champions would you say you lost your better side uh sure you know uh, playing against Tatibu, who happened to be the champions uh, last year uh, you should know that it's not going to be an easy task for us even though we train, like last I said, we are not having the equipment, though, but uh, it didn't go well with us. But we promised to come back strongly for our next match. Looking at the batting, uh, most of them were making a lot of uh, petty, petty errors, which we have to uh, at least get two or three runs, but they were not doing that. Then in terms of bowling, some easy catches, they are just leaving them for the ball to drop. So we need to work on our catchings and the, the batting too as well. Your players bat, but the inability to communicate and run. Uh, what actually is happening? And the issue is that most of them they are new players, and uh, two of them uh, they are today is their first game actually, so they don't really know how to communicate in that sense so as we keep on training we also work on how to communicate and to also make sure that they are, they are not being taken out winning coach is rafael paddy tete and he believes they could have finished the game in six overs as they have been persistent in training how have you been doing it <laughs> as usual persistent training and then giving your children your players moral support encouraging them to do to give out their best they love the game so once you open it up to them and then you encourage them then they put in much effort and then that's all were you expecting to wrap it up that end sure actually we wanted to even make it after six overs but uh, one of my batters was uh, over excited so he came in and he was just throwing the bat he wanted to hit uh, six want to make six runs out of a single bat and that make him get out of the pitch earlier but at least we had wanted to give them at most six overs they winning toss electing to bat first was it a worry to you or you welcome it and then you just play the game? I welcome it. I, I told them that in games anything can happen. In case they lose toss and they decide to also uh, bull first, anything can happen. So I just encourage them and ask them to do their best and make sure they win. Mostly when you win, you get to talk tough, but I don't know whether this is talking tough from Paddy. Well, Having lost their first match against champions Twinkle Stars on week two, Mangwasi Hydro were determined to clinch their first victory to avoid the bottom place. They, however, 
had a bad first innings against Pukuni Play Setters, who won toss and chose to field first. So, Mangwasi scored 70 runs for 10 wickets in 13.3 overs, while Pukuni set the pace of the game, enjoying the fall of wickets uh, with Joshua Kudonu uh, taking his first on the second ball of the innings and a total of four, giving away 22 runs in three overs. Abu Bakari Idrisu is one guy who is also very good, as well as Kingsley Affiliate. They took three and two wickets each, gave away 12 and five runs respectively, in 2.3 overs and one overs respectively. John Kwa was exceptional in the bowling figures as well. He took one wicket, gave away one run, in three overs with a maiden and a maiden wicket over that is very impressive from john who has been playing the game for a while now so pukuni they threw in their best kinsley affiliate who scored four rounds of four balls and portete who scored 40 rounds of 20 balls to finish off the game in their second innings and after three overs were six runs better than the power lads now things turn around for Hydro and they mellowed the pace of Pupuni after 10 overs, keeping the latter at 47 runs for 6 wickets, 10 less than they had, and a wicked less too. Now, Pupuni were at 62 runs when they lost their ninth wicket in the 12.4 over, with 9 runs to win and more overs to go. Mangwasi Hydro knew they needed sharp bowling to wrap up the game but dropped a crucial catch when Godinachu clashed with Prince Asari for Maupemo Nusenu's delivery. The wicket finally came for Mangwasi who jubilated in style, taking Kupuni pace setters all out for 67 runs in 14.4 overs and won the game by 3 runs. Now, Nusenu was the hero of the day and the player of the match as well as he took three wickets gave away five runs in 2.4 overs belinda asante is a coach of pupuni pesetes and she attributed their loss to over excitement of her players knowing they were closer to winning most of my uh, players are in jhs3 they are preparing for bc which will be on monday because of that we are not able to train so we are hoping in our next game which will be next week by that time they will be done with the exams we will train and come and perform Stop from that you lost by three runs you were close to winning what what actually happened to you since my children were over excited when they saw that they were uh, almost done with the game with three runs so the over excitement caused that next time I'll talk to them to come down so they finish the game. So the BEC upcoming is playing a factor. Well, we wish them well in the consequent matches. However, coach of Mangwasi Hydro, Emmanuel Na, was surprised about their win, believing it was luck mixed with commitment. I would say uh, one is luck. Yes. And second is um, commitments from the side of the players. Yeah, because they've worked really, really hard. Yeah, it's not been easy. Yeah. And they are, they are, they are new chaps. I think um, just one person is um, an old boy from last season. The rest are new guys. And honestly, um, even though, yes, I was expecting win, but um, if we give percentage, I was. It's about 20 percent then uh, the 80 percent is about they improving yes that is the, the 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 major thing i was looking out for yes and what is or uh, what has made this victory very top notch for me is one guy called uh, musen he actually took three with ten charlie it, it it's his first time and i'm i'm really impressed i'm i'm really happy yes the guys are really committed so after two rounds of matches for all six teams uh, in zone one Ebuakwa super kings are currently top with four points and plus 3.15 nrr advantage followed by their nemesis Totsibu finkel stars also with four points and plus 2.05 nrr mangwasi hydro after their win 
uh, they lighted with two points while Saint Royal Batters who won in week one also have two points line fourth. Pupuni Pay Setters and Saint Fire Batters occupy the bottom two accordingly after they've lost two straight matches. Let's see what will happen uh, when the league continues on Saturday, August 12, 2023 at the Equamoman SHS. Please remember uh, to subscribe to the channel as we bring you more in the world of crickets and other sports, other leagues, finance sports. My name is Davis Me at Tukukote. See you when I see you. Sports is always my passion.